Milan was one of the scariest moments of my whole life. I knew I was putting myself on one of the biggest platforms to get judged. And so when I got the golden buzzer, it was a dream come true. It didn't even feel like reality. It feels like a superstar has arrived. Unbelievable. I'm speechless. Ever since I could walk, I have always been humming to myself. I've always loved performing at home. I put on little shows for my parents. I have always wanted to be a singer, but I was very shy. I eventually decided that maybe singing behind the scenes would make me happier. And so that's when I got into session singing and singing at weddings. Songwriters of The Greatest Showman hired me to sing vocals for Never Enough, and I saw my voice coming out of Rebecca Ferguson's mouth, and I was feeling proud. I've spent years of my life watching people live the dream. Tonight, I want to show people who I am. Let's start with you. Gosh, I'm honestly, you knocked it out of the park again. What was beautiful was the, the song, the lyrics, the, the breath, the control, absolutely everything about it was astonishing. And it was nice to hear a different part of your voice. It was a great song choice, I thought, different to what we saw the first time. And I think that's really good. It was a good idea. Um, and it's just been, it's just been lovely of getting to know you a little bit and seeing who you are and seeing you kind of come out of the shadows and having the courage to take that microphone and, and show us, show us who you really are. It was a beautiful performance. Oh. Well done. Thank you. Sam, it's both a, a blessing and a curse when you're known for singing one of the biggest songs of all time. 
and you could have easily taken the easy route, which is, you know, sing that song again because we love it so much. <laughs> and actually, I think that what you've done, even by coming on the show, is incredibly brave because you flew all the way over here uh, because, you know, we spoke about this. You have respect for the UK audience. You told everyone your story. And, and then tonight, you know, I'm frustrated because that wasn't long enough. You know, instead, we had these weirdo robots, which lasted forever. And, and I wanted to hear the song longer. Um, so, so, uh, and, I, and I also know you've got a bit of stick in the media saying, well, you know, it's a fix because, you know, you've been on another show. Well, that's the whole point of shows like this, is that you give people a second chance. And, you know, we haven't had a female winner this year, uh, this week so far. I hope you change that after tonight. Yeah, I mean, everyone has been talking about your audition, you know, since it was on TV. And I saw you tonight, and I was actually really starstruck meeting you. <laughs> I was like, oh, my goodness me, it's really her. This girl with this incredible, incredible talent. And I'm really glad you showed a different side of yourself tonight and showed your sort of so much more than, than just one song. I mean, you, you are an incredible artist with an incredible voice. And we could be looking at the winner of Britain's Got Talent. just as much right to be in this competition as everyone else. In fact, I think it's harder for you. You have to work harder. And I personally feel like that performance was in a league of its own. You have a voice like Velvet. It was beautiful. And I would love to see you get through to the final. I think you've earned it. I think you deserve it. Congratulations, Lauren. It was beautiful. Thank you, judges. Lauren, you might... You must be thrilled with those judges' comments. I'm so thrilled. I was nervous, and, and it just feels so good to get that response. Thank you. Uh, how has it felt as well? Um, finally stepping out of the shadows and into the spotlight center, center stage. How, how, how have you enjoyed this experience so far? I mean, it's, it's so surreal. It's so wonderful to be in the UK, and I just appreciate the warm welcome from all of you. And just kind of stepping into the spotlight, it, it's taken me a long time, but I'm so glad that I'm here on, on this stage. Oh, we are too. Thank you so much. Thank you. If you think Lauren deserves a place,